update on all the uh, stuff that the Lord is doing with the ministry. We're getting settled in the, where he's placed us uh, between me going back and forth to work, a little bit longer of a drive than we're used to. Um, but overall, he's, he's, getting us, he's getting us settled in. Um, we're in West Tennessee. We want to start reaching out to the community soon. We want to start uh, probably with a Bible study and start cultivating men of God, women of God, and families that serve God together. Uh, Joshua 24, 15, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So we want to... We want to walk in all the blessings that God has for us. We want to walk in all the, the the things that Christ accomplished for us upon the cross. The scripture is for today. The scripture is for us right here, right now. Whether it's deliverance, whether it's healing, whether it's signs and wonders, salvation, you name it. It's all for here. It's all for as we sojourn through this planet. Because we won't need any of that stuff in heaven. We're to store our treasures there because they won't be destroyed, they won't be consumed, they won't anything. They'll be tested by fire, they'll be pure, they'll be gems, they'll be precious stones, and they'll be preserved there. And then we will know that our work here was of Him because of that. So if this gets around to anybody who's in the West Tennessee area, reach out to us. Find us on Facebook, same name, Rock Ranch Ministries. And there's a little bit more information on the Facebook page. So I want to start reaching out. I need to start finding other men, other families. My wife and I have two small children. And I have an older daughter that will be around in the summer times. And hopefully her spring breaks and winter breaks and the such. But the Lord is moving. The Lord is doing things. We want to start doing some home stuff. Bible studies and things like that within our home. Until the Lord provides us more clarity, more direction. And the, and the building that we're able to do bigger stuff. Maybe even Sunday stuff if that's what his will is. I know one ministry that he's kind of put on my heart and he provided a majority of the stuff for is like a, a gym ministry, an exercise ministry, a workout ministry, whatever you want to call it, a health ministry, let's put it like that, um, to where men and women can gather together. They can sharpen their minds with one another as iron sharpens iron. They can sharpen their spirit through prayer and a lifestyle of worship because that's what worship is. It's a heart posture and a lifestyle. And they can sharpen and strengthen their bodies through weights and getting stronger. Taking care of themselves. Taking care of the temple that they've been entrusted with that houses the living, breathing, present spirit of the Most High God. As we step into this this new realm, as we step into this new lane, we just want to bless others who are where we've been. We want to do the work of God. At the end of the day, we want to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. We want to hear, enter into the rest of your Lord. Lord, capital L, lowercase O-R-D, is Adonai, which is basically master. We can't call him the master if we don't obey him as such. 
called to be. We can do what we've been called to do. And our families can fulfill the scripture. Not only Romans 28. Not only Joshua's 24, 15. That's so you'll be more to conquer verse. Let's step into all God has for us.